Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode episode of the Horseshawn Hunters Guild. Yay! Yay! Somehow we're still doing this, even though we're all drunk. I mean, no. I wish I, I, wish I was. I mean, you already sound like it's Strider. We all wish. Well, I am going off like three, four hours of sleep. I didn't get I didn't get home till like two o'clock, and I'm still like I haven't been able to sleep. That way you can't sleep and DM at the same time, multitask. <laughs> yeah, let me let me just go to sleep and. Uh, so. So how many Jabungo parts to the campaign will there be this time? How many what? Jabungo parts. Jabungo right. parts? Yeah. When have All I right. ever farted? No, no Why parts. Are you <laughs> parts. Parts. Oh, there will parts. be no Jabungo guys showing up. Except yeah. for the Jack variety. Hey, the, the Jack variety is what I mean. Oh, you mean how many I'm going to end up in after someone murders me in the arena within the Jervis fight? Mm, I'm kind of in the Jervis fight in general. Mm, I don't think so. Not unless Dreader has a surprise 3v3. No. I specifically asked for a 2v2. Okay. I am no better two. In any case. Anyways. Uh, to catch people up, who also wait a second. I am. Um... It looks like Brock still isn't here today, even though he said he's probably not was... asleep. Somebody wake him up. I mean, he probably is asleep. He said he was gonna take. Everybody him spam him. It's not gonna wake him up. No, because it's not. Um... We can I'll try. see about calling him. Call him on the telly. If he doesn't show up in like three or five minutes, on. he used to call him on his cell phone. You're doing it right now. I think. Click. <laughs> Rocks, the session started. Dude, yeah. come on. It's so, it's so whiny. Yeah, Broxnar, no care. <laughs> Dude, your name's not Broxnar. Your name is. <laughs> He's decided. He he legally changed his name IRL <laughs> to Broxnar. First name Brox, last name Nar. No. No. Off to a good start. What's this? Oh, it's... oh, it looks like he's going on. Oh, you used to come. Everything is going home. just fine. We just had the oh, We just lost our DM though. So that's fine. That that is a nice game. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. DMs Fair are trade. optional. <laughs> it's an optional part of the campaign. We can do it. It was a great trade. DMs just make things uh, awkward, you know? Are we recording by the way? Everything is always recorded. Forever. Everything yes. is always recorded. Alright, y'all can hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Start doing browser Discord from now on. All right, now that everyone is here, I can start this proper. Anyways, Brox, you haven't been here for two weeks, so there's a lot to catch you up on. <sighs> oh, he's here. Hey. Anyways, so catch you up um what was the, the last party thing? went into the woodland what is that? i i believe i believe uh, he he's, knows at least up to like 
the session before last. So... He was here so with... I, I'm pretty sure he knows where we went to the woodlands. He knows about Aleander. He knows we've been sent to find Han's daughter and all that good shit. He knows about the wolf. And that we're in a cave with Freaky Deaky riding. Freaky Deaky? Did we're not know the it. cave part. Alright, well, we're in a cave. But well, you got, everyone got bonuses and it was wonderful. Alright, that that never progged. Because he did it while we're out of while we're out of combat. Yep. I mean because that's what because that's a t ten out of ten tactics. Uh, Anyways. Ben. Explain what happened in the last session to catch you up proper. The party went into a cave, found a guy who trapped put himself into an Iron Maiden, found a wolf who introduced himself as Balthazar Malachi. He was part of a team that was sent to kill Aleander, but they got their asses handed to him. And all, almost, supposedly almost all of the team are dead, save for the guy he was with, himself, and supposedly Han's daughter, who was part of the team. You all continue to make your way through the cave. Uh, Jack and a couple others got hit with a pretty, uh, pretty interesting illusion spell that designed to uh, basically trick people in walking into a into a bottomless pit, but y'all managed to circumvent around it and walk down a path. That was um, kind of to the side. The cave and make your way into this more uh, darker, um, more uh, foggier part of the forest. Or you would eventually come across a kind of a, a, sh a house just smack dab in the middle of the woodlands. There was a humanoid, a human woman uh, standing outside. Of it. She revealed herself to, her name was Jane Tepes. and after a bunch of looking around went into the basement where you all saw Oleander and Han's daughter who had well born to a red unicorn you can imagine how you all fought fought Oleander you whooped her but she managed to teleport away before you could take her out and during the battle, Lily managed to onto the astral plane. As you're walking out, however, it you all saw that this is that Jane had managed to somehow retrieve the Necronomicon from the astral plane. And then finally revealed herself as the Queen of Diamonds, the observer that Mr. Flag had warned you about. Chat, she disappears. You, your group, uh, all make it back to the village. And with Han's daughter in tow, sending her off to the medics. I believe we ended session last week with Han agreeing to head back to uh, 
Hoshan with you after finding his daughter. He said he would leave. They would leave tomorrow morning. It is currently nighttime. Did you get all that, bro? So that is where we are. Yeah, <laughs> sounds interesting. That is officially Which where we're right starting. Here? Where we're starting off. It is nighttime in the woodlands. You are currently still in Han's home. And a lot of, um, a lot of unicorns. Just like either heading heading to bed or they're staying up, kind of like uh, just having nighttime walks. More like more like setting up, kind of like a night guard. When you ah. when you returned when you returned, they all assumed that you had actually killed Oleander. And when it was revealed that you didn't, they um, they all began setting up a night guard in a potential uh, potential in in case uh, Oleander may have uh, might have decided to come and attack as like some kind of like a revenge attack. That's kind of like what we're, what they're doing right now. Anyways, we are starting session. You are in still in Han's home. What are you doing? I drink the bottle of Dreamer. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, it's nighttime. I'm not. Would unicorns have a bar? Or would the woodland. No, I guess not. Never mind. I, I was still I, I could say so. Uh, would, would this, this particular. Vi uh, are you asking if this particular place would have a bar? Yeah, yeah I guess. See if it's a possibility. I mean, they're kind of religious. I, I don't know about. Beer and religion. Yeah, I was, they might have church is where the time, but that's it. Actually, churches are the first places and the only places where you are allowed to brew anything alcoholic, including beer. So here in the woodlands, we offer such amenities such as a church, that church, this church, those churches, yeah. and these churches, and lots of trees. Yeah, it, it, and it really chicken. depends on the room. Not sponsored trees. by church's chicken. Sadly, no. This village does not have a bar. Ah, that's okay. So. okay. There is something I want to do. Uh, that yeah. village, zero out of ten, would not visit again. I think it's uh, right. I actually charming. want to uh, talk with Ryan. Okay. So, uh, so you know, what what's the room? What's the room situation? The room. Like. Like, what are you asking? Like, what's? Do we like all sleep in the same room? Do we have like different rooms? <laughs> well, you haven't really checked yourself into a hotel yet. Jack calls the rug in the corner. So are we all just in one room and like the yeah, map? You're all, you're, right all, you're all in one room. There's not any beds. This is so, not where you're sleeping. Oh, so we're just in like a meeting room right now, I guess. Essentially, you're literally in in Han's front room. Oh, the living room. All right, so I guess we were just standing around awkwardly for a couple minutes. And well, Han is, you know, kind of gesturing, you, you know, politely to get out. Go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> shoo, shoo. Get, get the score day squirt. Over, so, overstage your welcome. So why don't we uh look? Can, can we try uh, you know, looking for a hotel? Make a perception. Okay. Uh, let me 
It's like eight, I think. I, I think I know these things. I think I don't know these things. Well, you should have it written down. You should have it written down. Well, it's like you my should be looking laggy. at your character sheet, man. Have, my my sheet is laggy. My sheet is lagging. I don't. Yeah, it's eight. I'm I'm right. I remember things. Preloaded, found... you idiot. You know, we we could have asked Han if there was any place for us to stay. Yeah. I don't even ask why they do. Why well, take the easy way out? Well, the DM told me to make a perception te check, and I well, did what I was to told. What the hell? Oh. What happened? Okay. He All said. Right. It was just like how he worded it. Twenty. Okay. Um. Sleep in a treehouse. Sleep there is under a tree house. There is. There is a hotel. It's not fancy. Casa de la Unicorn. Uh, beds so doesn't even a have a. Library. It doesn't even have a name. And no, there is not a tree library. It's called the place to sleep. <laughs> it's literally called. It's literally just a sign that says beds here. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like a common house, basically. This is not a very, very... This is not a good village. It's like... Might have been... It's a good but, village. Might have been a while ago, but a lot of people very clearly took their crap and just... And left? Mm -hmm. Joe died? Anyways, there is villain. There is a hotel. Okay. Uh, everyone, everyone, good for you know checking in. You always gotta ask. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, so uh, we're 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 in a, we're in a room now. That's great. Are you? We're in Han's room. You're in Han's room. What? Like, I thought what we are you all? Village. What are you all doing? Just standing well, around for now. If they made a perception check to find a hotel. Wouldn't you be in front of it? Well, you found you found you found a hotel. What are you doing? Well, I go to the hotel. All right, you. All right, Lucas, you go to the does, hotel. Does everyone? I don't know. Every, does everyone want everyone to? Everyone else is just. Standing. Do you say this? Out? Everyone else is just standing. <laughs> Falling asleep. The joys of D and D movement, or tabletop, Pathfinder. I don't care. You've only seen this information in or outside Whatever. of character. Are you going to say I, anything in character? I asked. The, Ryan, do you want to go into this hotel? Wow, that's kind of sexual, Lucas. Is that a little homer? <laughs> oh then yeah, Peggy I... is that kind of type. Jack, can I stab you? I mean, can I stab you? you Why try. would you want to do that? Sure. I'm I'm trying to say it in one one on one, or not one on one, an eye for an eye. You know what? I'll go to the hotel. Yay! I don't give two shits what you all are gonna do. Alright. I'm a tired Follow kitty. That, yeah, kitty's been working real hard these past two sessions. <laughs> yeah, stealthing. <laughs> Gotta keep up that stealth. Gotta stealth fast. Stealthing for weeks straight is hard work. Alright, yes. so I... Sure it is. I assume everyone is going to the hotel. Nope. Uh, yes, I'd like sure. to ask Han something real quick. Like, oh yeah, I also need to say yeah. ask something. Okay. So I look, I look over to Han and I ask him, Han, do you have a fireplace here? It's right here. Points to the fireplace. All right. Mind if I uh, mind if I sleep there? Just be a Cyndaquil. Exactly. 
or a Charmander or something. I don't know. I'm Long, sleep in a fireplace. Longmen don't use beds, they use fireplaces. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, hang on, let me pull something up. Okay, just checking. I was gonna say, so is Han all right with it? <laughs> Han feels on the spot for he's, offending him. Light his mar he's, light the fire um, for the marshmallows. The sleepover, <laughs> sleepover session. <laughs> I, I'm just looking around and asking, why is there a fireplace in a treehouse? Oh, well, apparently I haven't actually. Well, not not all. Of, none of these houses are made of trees. What do you mean all these houses are made of trees? What oh, blasphemy is this? Wood. Mostly tree. Some some wood, mostly stone. All right. You're not getting your. This is not. This is not the treehouse level. What? But it's the woodlands. It has to. The treehouse level. I'm sorry. Obviously, these guys aren't true uh, keepers of the light. What would Lily know about that? Yeah, what would Lily Absolute. know about that? Uh, she would know about how they're pansies who live in trees instead of <laughs> volcanoes. <sighs> you quit. You quit. You, you can't quit the get unicorn. out the kitchen. You came along, ma. Friendship Did ended with the woodlands. Hoashan is my home now. Yes. Anyways. Can't take the heat. Get out the volcano. He, uh, Han just kind of just gives you a look and goes... Don't see why not. And then Jack right. burns to death because you never get fire resistance. <laughs> yeah. You motherfucker. You did it. You just had to point it out. <laughs> hey, but I'm at least going lizard mode. I'm not gonna be like an actual lit fireplace spam. <laughs> Until yeah, someone for it. forgets that you're in there and lights the lights the wood. <laughs> Anyways, not, not even I like a any wood in there right now it's just like an empty fireplace it's got ashes in there i'm gonna be a black and yellow longma by tomorrow morning from rolling around yeah, no, black and yellow. in any I case just about I, to do that. in any case i look over to han again and say thanks roomy and then i go over and then i take off my armor get naked get in the fireplace i i pat I hands mean... shoulder and say my condolences and just walk out. Yes, we're sorry about him. I completely ignore Jack's stupidity and walk away. Yeah, this session has gone really far in the past uh, 25 minutes. Yeah, because everyone just likes standing around and not saying anything. Exactly. Let's go. Okay, go. Uh, what did you say you were doing? Talking to Balthazar. Okay. The, the doggo. Well, he's there. Well, um... So, you work for the... Observers, correct? Work for the Observers. I serve the lady. Mm-hmm. Well, um... I wonder... So now that, um, your lady has the book, you have no reason to go after Oleander, correct? Well, unless my lady says otherwise, no. So you weren't thinking of getting revenge for your fellows, correct? Truth be told, I really don't don't care about them, but my allegiances are to the lady alone. Respect that. Certainly have no care not to have any allegiances or friendships with them. Nice. Oh, and good day. See you in the morning if you're still here. For the time being. 
He's going to uh, kind of just like, if that's all, he's going to give like a kind of like a, a bow of sorts and uh, walk out. Curls up in front okay. of the fireplace. She returns to the bow. What's up? Uh, Lily returns to the bow. And okay. Also for the hotel. All right. Anything, or are you all so, at the hotel not, and going to sleep? So now that we're at the hotel, you know, can I talk to uh, Ryan now? You could have talked to him whenever you wanted to. Well, it's like rude. You know, it's like not the time. It's not a good time. You can literally just talk to him. You can literally okay. walk up to him at any time and say, hey, what's going on? Even okay, in the so I do. I walk up to Demar, whatever his name. Ryan. And I ask, Ryan. I I walk up to Ryan, and I say, Hey, hey, Ryan. Ryan. Yes, Lucas. I have a question. It's a. It's a weird question, but uh, can I play with your tiger? Uh, elaborate. Uh, just, just, you know. You know. My playing. tiger doesn't do much playing. Oh. Are you, are you sure it... you don't have like a. Do you wish to use him for any purpose? Mm hmm. Jeez. Jeez. You're getting right to the point, huh? I don't like to dilly dally. Okay, fine. I, I want to ride your tiger into the sunset. You know? Mercer said glued. I believe the sunset is already over. Oh, Well, like, the you know... Very over. You know, just like... Wait till the general time. ride him, because, like, I'm really... I'm, I, I have very small legs, you know? Can't, can't move very so, fast. So you want to ride my tiger as a mount? Yeah. That, that'd be... That'd Do you be nice. wish to control him? Power like... corrupts men. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Okay. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Which is a Exactly. But, uh... Yeah, that... That'd be, uh... I mean, like... Not like... Not like mind control. Just like... Hey, go over there, you know? I understand. That, Seems yeah. reasonable. Yeah. You shall have him in the morning. Okay. Does he like to be pet? Not much, but you could try. Okay. So, uh... I try to pet him. I try to pet the tiger. You get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Acrobatic roll to get out of his mouth. Nat 20 only. What? Okay. Escape artist roll to escape the stomach. Don't act, don't. don't. Not through the back entrance. <laughs> okay, Ryan walks away to go to sleep because stealthing is tiring. Okay. Uh, he sure has been doing a lot of it, too. Apparently very good, because I'm not dead. It's because he's just hidden the corner. <laughs> no one even knew he was here. It was like he was gone. Exactly. Almost. Maybe I don't need that ring of invisibility. Seems like I'm pretty good at doing it without it. Yeah, you just have to not show up. <laughs> I mean, Devin Ron was actually there, but he slapped an AFK. <laughs> he just had an AFK over his head. An AFK poster. <laughs> Over, over his face, and Oliander Al saw that. I'm like, Shh, I can't attack him. He's <laughs> that would just, be, just rude. be rude. I just look like a dick. All right. Is anyone else doing anything? Or are y'all just heading to sleep? Um, are we gonna do anything? Indubitably. Adding AFK poster to inventory. Got it. AFK what face. Saying? What are you saying? No, the, the poster only appears when you're AFK. We gonna do anything with this hoof, Lily? Do wait, what? Remember? 
yeah. By the I way, mean, by the it's... way, speaking of Oleander's hoof, it is still twitching and squirming. Yeah, we should probably do something about it. It's just fly water. We're gonna, gonna spill that fish. <laughs> we gotta do science. We gotta do science. Yes. Give it some alcohol. No. Let's spell craft check. For Strider, is it is it still bleeding? Is there still actively blood coming out of it? It's not bleeding, but it's it's still squirming and twitching like it's alive. Is it not in a jar? I don't no. think it would fit in a jar. Yeah, it would. I didn't bring a big it, enough jar. Didn't bring a big enough jar. See if they've got one. No jars. <laughs> she needs to have the craft jar feet. You know? Alright, Lily, are you rolling uh, spellcraft? Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and roll as well, even though mine isn't so high. Okay. Strider, could this blood be used to make poison? <laughs> no! Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Um, okay, yeah. Uh, we don't know a <laughs> thing. You don't know shit. Uh, would you, you know, know, know again? Jack. Uh, also, also, funny, so bro. Also, Brox. Um, after you fought Oleander, Lucas drank some of her blood and went insane for a little bit. Sanity poison. Cool. Would we be able to drain any of the blood out of the hoof? <laughs> um. Don't make fun of the way I say words. <laughs> that would take doing that would take a heal check. I, I can do that. Um well, I, I won't drink it this time. You're probably not there. We can't just What if we grab a big hammer? We're not doing this in the hotel room it or is. Are you are you still awake? Are you or are you sleeping? I'm not sleeping yet. He just, right, well, we just talked, I ended talking. Yeah. We can't uh, uh, set it up to hang from the ceiling work. and just drip into a jar overnight. No. <laughs> it's not bleeding at all. There's no more blood coming out of it. Who has a good I heal think. check that's still awake? Uh, I do, but I'm you I... know, not with you. Nope. I'm. I do, but am I with you? I assume that we're I don't know. I, I mean, you could yes. go back after we talk. I'm not being I don't ridiculous. think either of us are in the hotel room. I think everybody but Jack and Waffle are here. So, um, until about to use Detect Magic. Would, would we be able to get something with Detect Magic? Detect Magic? Uh, no. What is doing? It's very clearly not magical. Would sense motive to anything? What about what about detect fiendish presence? Detect fiendish presence. Um. Hmm. Actually, let's see if you have it. Well, if you have heal, you can roll that. Otherwise, I would say... I've got a good heal, but, you know, I'm not there. Well, where, where, the, fuck, is... where the fuck is Lily and Vesper? Are you in the hotel, I or are you still I... in Han's house? I assumed everyone went to the hotel. the hotel, yeah. So you are there, Cactus. We just talked in the front. Yes, you're there. You can see this, you can hear this. Okay. Can I... Can, you said you want anyway, to drain up blood? Yes. yes. Potentially. Oh, I can easily do that, but uh, oh. I, I won't drink it this time. Easily, depending on, on, on your role. 
Triple net one, go! <laughs> we all three of us die. Triple net run. So what was that other roll you could do, Strider, instead of heal? Uh, to, to, no, nah, to figure out what's up with the, with the, uh, with the hoof, it's probably only gonna be heal check. Both to drain the blood and to figure out what, what's up with it. Oh, okay. no sense motive. I mean, I'll, I'll roll No use heal. magic device to use it's, the hoof. It's not trying to talk to you. <laughs> what about knowledge planes? Wave it around like a <laughs> wand. It'll do something if I wave it hard enough. <laughs> if you've been named, hey, named gross, Captain weird. Cole. It can help you. So, so somebody roll heal. Anyway. Can't I will! I'm waiting, I'm waiting for a roll. God oh, damn it! Oh, that one! <laughs> that one. That one. Yeah, oh my god. That one. It's okay, one. we're getting him out of the All way. Right. Okay. Uh, Lucas, you try to drain blood out, you you barely, you don't even get a drop. This is one tenacious hoof. Well, this like he didn't get up and slap you guys in the face. It's like he's trying to milk a cow, but he realizes he's milking a bull. <laughs> God. Can you fucking not? That's not, like, I'm, that's just, uh, what farmers do, man. They don't That's accidentally move balls. Anyway. You cannot get any blood out of this hoof. Sorry. What if you Dang. grab a giant hammer and hit it? Would an interpretive dance help? No. You know Dude. you could just get a sponge, right? Seal. Real seven. I guess I'll go ahead and roll two. I don't actually have heal as a skill, so. so are you, you guys trying to it. figure out what's up? I can. With... Okay, okay, okay. Time out. Are you guys trying to figure out what's up with the hoof, or are you trying to get the blood out? I'd like to know what's up with the hoof. I'm rolling for blood. All right. Uh. I'm well... going to do some two months sleep. You're trying to do uh, nothing. You can't figure it out. This is one. Oh man, that's spicy. Brax, you actually managed to draw some blood out. Hey. I feel embarrassed. I do have empty glass bottles, so. Yeah, we have. Okay. We have well. a few, few empty vials. Uh, with a 19, you're able to fill up uh, one half of a vial. Don't waste it. It's mine. Ha ha ha. Don't don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> drink drink it, yeah. drink it with the potion. Yeah. If you actually drain the blood out, the um, the hoof actually begins to like continue to, like shake and quiver. Uh, even more furiously, like it's visibly in pain. Ooh. Wait, does this mean? Huh, that's, that's interesting. We don't know what it means because we all rolled ones. You don't know what it means. But it, but it looks interesting, so, you know, that's good. It, we, we did a good, I guess. What's the... I, I, what what what's the time limit before you're able to roll another check on something? If any. Well, you really aside from knowledge is nothing. Uh what like, no would there be any knowledge? On your heal check, six that six seconds six seconds later, roll another one. I do another one to get more. No, stop it. Don't it's agitate wrong. the poor thing. Cause you you could potentially kill it, and then we'll, all of this will be wasted. Fine, I, I will roll to see what's... or I will see what's happening with it. Alright, 12, um, you aren't sure, but it seems that somehow... 
Even though this hoof has been cut off from Oleander's body, it actually looks looks and acts like it's still attached. So she's still trying to walk on it. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> like wait. So all of a sudden, Oleander appears with the hoof. <laughs> Give me <No>. that. <laughs> Well, I don't see what else we can really do with it right now. <laughs> well, yes, you managed to draw some blood out, and you know that somehow this hoof is still acting like it's attached to Oleander. It's It's got those phantom pains. <laughs> so, uh, how much blood did we actually get? I know half a bottle, but how much is that? Which is like half a vial. I don't, I don't fucking know. Two ounces, like two. I'm gonna three. say um, half a vial, is two gallons of blood. Got it. No, big vial. I would say you would manage to get maybe like. Two and a half ounces. Okey doke. That's actually a good amount, considering it's just a hoof. No. Wasn't entirely dried up. Some of the flesh was still nice and fleshy. Fleshy. So you were able to like extract Must a little bit out of it. Must resist the urge to eat. Oof. You better resist it. <laughs> don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Get the yeah, scorch if you do, now. bad cat. All right. Anyways, what are y'all doing? Well, we're probably going to wrap this hoof up. for. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a mummy hoof now. keep it somewhere where it won't wiggle too much. I okay. put the bottle of uh, blood. <laughs> Puts it in the cannon, collection. forgets about it. All right. I will tell you that that blood can be used as a poison. You will have to give me uh, some, some time. You'll have to give me some time to actually rat out its stats. So. Okay. But once Ooh. I do, I will, I will get back to you. I'm probably going to craft it at level 7 so I can put more ranks in the craft alchemy because it's pretty sad right now. Okay. So you have time. Alright. And that's if there's any left, because I'm going to give it to Lily first. But what are y'all doing? I go, I go to the hotel and go sleep, because I'm a tired kitty. Then is, there, is everyone else going to sleep? I'm already sleeping. Seems like a All good right, thing you're to... already sleeping. I, I I still try to pet the tiger. Tiger swipes at you. Ow! Take 1d1000 of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to sleep. I'm going to transition to the next day. The next Okey day. Okey-doke. All right. Everyone goes to sleep, and... Jack dies. <laughs> Alright, Lucas. Yeah? In the middle of the night, you have a dream. <gasps> it's about Ovaltine. <laughs> It's about chocolate milk, yes. It's actually not. You find yourself back in the cave. Yeah. By yourself. Yeah. Ooh, spooky. Mm. What and... way to go? Is there a way to go? 
unlike the cave, the, the cave you remember, this is just one straight shot. There's no like writing or anything. It's just one straight path down. Oh yeah, and, L and Lily has a nightmare, but that happens every night. So <laughs> you hear a voice kind of compelling you to walk forward, and you do. Like, okay. You have no control of your body. It's just a dream. I don't need it. Who needs it? You don't know it's a dream. You died. Oh! Oh yeah, my gosh, scary. I'm in a cave! It's scary Terry. Comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Who could move this <laughs> and hide, bitch? As <laughs> long, um... Materi materializing, like, as you walk, you begin to see all the all the rest of your party members. Jack, Lily, uh, Bao, all of them, they're dead. No! Lily! And the other guys. I, I guess I care for uh, Ryan, I think. You keep, hearing, you keep hearing in the back of your head, You did this. Keep hearing you did this over and over again in your head. Now I can. As no, whispers no. and voices no. begin to get louder. No. Continuing. Walk down. Oh. And eventually you hear you hear a, a woman's voice. As the dream begins to end. Bang. Uh, what did she say? <laughs> uh, you 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 just you just hear like a woman's voice saying, "Abandon sanity." The dream ends. Ah! The morning, and you wake up. <sighs> Oh. But the dog was real, we're all dead. You're doing one life. Well, thank god, I I'm I was the only one to, the first one to die, baby. It's not Well uh during the night I'm gonna need, need you to make a will set. Oh, okay. So it's dead spill. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, uh... Oh no, it's it ain't no spell. As far as anyone else. Nice but make him that one. Oh. Yes. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. You don't. Did take you get that uh, minus four cures already? Okay. <sighs> this blood. Do you, did you uh did you also calculate the penalties you you're taking? Yeah, I I calculated it. I put it in my sheet. Okay. Well. I it's a temp adjust. That's what it's called. You do not take any extra wisdom damage. Yeah. That was a pretty... Pretty good dream. <laughs> it was good. I didn't... I didn't even, uh... Didn't even eat them. You know, I'm, I'm getting better at self-control. You oh, have you juice boxes! That's not enough, man! <laughs> he needs, he needs more, he needs his fist, man! <laughs> Anyways... Yeah? It is the morning, you all wake up... You all see Han is kind of... already outside with like... Uh, a number of other unicorns... Setting up some uh, kind of like a uh, a caravan of sorts. Uh, are we? On, am I on the second story of this bed place? Wherever you want to be. Okay, I jump out the window. You jump out the window. And breaks his Make legs. An Make an acrobatics. I, I have feather fall, so yeah. All right. Then you slowly break a leg. 
<laughs> yeah, he got it. he got it from the magical shop that sells useless items. <laughs> no, I actually got a good one. <laughs> it makes your fall slow, but it does the same amount of damage as if it. <laughs> also, now that it is the morning, you uh, you hear you can overhear Han and Balthazar talking. Looking out, you actually see a. Uh, a tall, uh, very old human male. What? Is it not Balthazar? Or yeah, Balthazar it sounds, well. sounds and looks. Or sounds, Balthazar. sounds and looks like Balthazar. Okay, so he's uh, he's in his uh, gross he's a human werewolf. form. Yeah, it was actually also that was another thing that happened. Uh, Balthazar is in fact a werewolf. So we can see both uh, Han and Balthazar speaking over there. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to go over and ask uh, Han. Well, first dust Mr. yourself Stephanie. off in the fireplace ashes. Oh. Shut up. There are actually no ashes in the fireplace. Let's see. Anyway, so um, Han, excuse me, but who is this? Ah, he, uh, Balthazar actually speaks oh, up. Oh wait, actually, where I'm... is this happening? It's kind of like towards the entrance. The of... hotel was of the hotel of the village of the village. But Jack started in uh, the other guy's house. Yeah, his house. I probably would have gone with him, but I slept. I overslept in the fireplace. Like he does. Well, the hotel you guys you guys are staying at is close to the entrance to the village, so you would be able to see this. Currently, Han and Balthazar are over there, and Jack went over there, so you can see this. Okay. Or speaks up the human. Ah, yes. I'm not surprised you wouldn't recognize me. Huh? No, I know you. Perhaps this will help. And he morphs back into the wolf that you know as Balthazar. Balthazar. <laughs> Balthazar, when did you get here? Where'd the human go? Where'd the human go, Balthazar? <laughs> He just kind of gives you that that deadpan, just a deadpan look. Oh, so you're the human. I literally transformed in front of your eyes. Are you daft? Yes, quite. Yes, he is. He just kind of rolls his eyes. He are saying yes, quite with a smile on his face. He rolls, Balthazar just kind of just rolls his eyes. So Balthazar, you have a human form. That's cool. Actually, well, it's no surprise from what you've seen. I, well, yes, I am actually human, though I am a, a lycanthrope. A lichen who? A lichen throw, a werewolf boy. Okay. Oh, oh. Why you can you transform? When you're in the full moon, they transform into humans. You're, you're you're walking up and asking Balthazar that. Yes. If you are indeed a werewolf, how come you can transform at will? Two types of werewolves. The the the. Cursed kind you can only transform during the night of a full moon. And then there are my kind. Natural born. Who can transform into... Off, in any form at will. At any time. This is actually something that is described in Pathfinder. 
is actually a page for a natural born yeah. lycanthrope. That's that's how natural borns work. So your parents are too cursed type? No, my parents are natural born. And his parents before him, them, were natural borns. Born. And their parents before them were natural borns. And so on and so forth. So, Balthazar, what were you and Mr. Han speaking about? 